Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, the sun is shining with a little bit of cloud and it is time to go out and do a little bit of Blu-ray hunting over in Canterbury. Yes, it is Wednesday because I was working the last two days so couldn't get out on a Monday. I do have my lovely list of bits and pieces that were out. Uh, first of all, I've got to apologise because I believe this video probably will be uploaded in 4K so you can see extra nose hairs. <laughs> yes, uh, I do have a new phone. I've been tinkering around with the settings so hopefully we can get the picture and the sound really good on this one. Right, okay, so I suppose it's time for receiver position and then we'll go through what's out this week. Okay, so Monday the 28th. This is a, this looks a bit more zoomed in. I'm usually up closer, like that in your face. Wow, okay, so it must be Cinemascape. <laughs> Either that or IMAX. <laughs> yes, I'm in IMAX. Right, okay, so what we've got, um, well, more space for the pictures then, eh? Okay, so um, we have Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights, do, 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 Boogie Nights. Yes, this is a Cine, uh, HMV Cine Edition, so that came out this week. We also have Team Wolf with Michael J. Foxen. Fantastic film from, was it about 85, 84, 85? Right about that time. Uh, there's also a Teen Wolf double pack with the second film, Teen Wolf 2. Yes, with Jason Bateman, I believe. Never seen the second one. Not sure I'm really interested in the second one. But you only watch Teen Wolf because it's got Michael J. Fox in it. Really? Yeah. Uh, we also have The Flash, uh, the ninth and final season. Yes. Uh, now, I did start watching this with Mama Bowman a few years ago. Bloody hell, many years ago. I think we probably gave up about season three. There's just too much going on with that and Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl and Arrow and all that kind of stuff. We just couldn't keep up. Yeah, uh, but there is also the Flash Complete 1 to 9 as well. Uh, we have Bell End Season... Oh. Bel Air Season 1. <laughs> I can't read me writing. Yes, Bel Air Season 1. I don't know why this is released. Does anybody really want it? There's only one Bel Air, and that's um, the Fresh Prince of Slappiness. <laughs> yes. Uh, we also have Hannah and her sisters. I don't know what they're doing, but I think they're filthy kids. Uh, plus, we have Time Bandits uh, with John Cleese. Uh, this is on 4K, and this is from Arrow. Yes, I do have Time Bandits, the regular edition. I probably won't upgrade. I'm happy with the one that I've already got. We do also have from uh, Arrow, again, The Last House on the Left on 4K. Do you know what? I think I said that to the postman the other day. He said, where do I deliver this parcel? I said, up there, The Last House on the Left. <laughs> Oh dear me. Yeah, uh, we also have some Jean Claude Van Damme. Yes. Van Damme. Yes. Double impact. Yes, you get two Jean Claude Van Dams for the price of one. You can't say better than that. That's on 88 films. 88. Yep. Uh, we also have the the postman fights back there. Yeah, talking about the postman. He's fighting back now. This is on 88 films as well. Uh, plus, we also have. Bloody hell, everything is coming out on 88 films this week. Another one on 88 films. The Thomas Crown Affair. Yes, with Piers Brosnan. Um, I remember seeing this once and I remember being bored. Yeah. Um, it may have been because I was really young and maybe I didn't understand the film. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether or not to pick it up. Because it doesn't give me fluffy, furry feelings. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? Uh, we also have something called Hacks. Yeah, season one. I've never heard of that. Never heard of that. And also War Pony as well. Well, I mean, there's we've had War Horse. Why not have War Pony? What's next? War Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> War cockroach. <laughs> oh dear me. Yes. Anyway, so that is a little list. There we go of uh, stuff that 
uh, came out this week, a couple of days ago. Hopefully HMV still has some of it. Hang on, let me just get you off receiver position. Oh, dearie me, oh, there we go. Yes, so hopefully uh, HMV will still have some of that stuff and they haven't sold out of it all. So we'll we'll have a look, see what they got. Have a look, see if they've got any sale items and uh, any stuff that I've missed, maybe a 4K or two. Then we'll go to CEX. I still have an 11 pound voucher. Um, pardon me, for when I traded those cha charity, one, charity ones in a couple of weeks ago. So I still haven't sold that. And then maybe the British Heart Foundation and see if we can spend £25 on a Blu-ray. <laughs> and then maybe go off down to Asda. Yes, right down to Asda. Uh, I am expecting a phone call today, hopefully sometime this morning, from my doctor, a Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, I don't know what his name is. Yeah, uh, just to discuss my blood pressure, really. You know, I'm on blood pressure medication and uh, he just wants to... He wanted me to take readings for a whole week and then just see if it needs up in in my medication or see if I'm okay. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, oh yeah, and also um, my ultrasound, my abdominal ultrasound that I had last week at the hospital. Uh, I phoned up yesterday. They haven't had any results yet. Uh, the guy that was doing the ultrasound said results come through in seven to ten days. Uh, I spoke to my surgery, the receptionist, and she said it's taking three to four weeks. Bollocks. So, uh, yeah, nothing back from that. But I'll try again in another couple of days. Anyway, that's enough of me. Uh, let's get on the road. Let's get over to Canterbury. And let's start some Blu-ray hunting on this glorious Wednesday morning. Yes, where it doesn't look like it's going to rain. Right, okie dokie. Next stop, his master's voice. Is that sexist? Is it her master's voice now? <laughs> anyway, let's go and do some Blu-ray hunting. Why not? Okay, so we're here in Canterbury, so let's go to our first stop, HMV. Okay, so our first stop today is the mighty HMV. So let's pop in and see what they've had in this week. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is The Flash, the ninth and final season for £29.99. Comes with a lovely slip. Down here we have the big box set. Uh, I just can't get my fingers in to get it out. I can't yank it out, Mum. <laughs> Up here we have uh, Bel Air. Yes, not Bel End. Bel Air for... Uh, £36.99. Piss off. That's a bit expensive, isn't it? Yeah, and down here we've got hacks. And how much is this one? J jog on. Yeah, jog on. What the hell is going on with the pricing? Flipping Nora. Here we have Jean-Claude Van Damme in Double Impact from 88 Films. £19.99. And it's one of the numbered ones on the slipcover. Very nice. Next to it, we have Boogie Nights. That's right, Mark Wahlberg, a cine edition. I've never seen this film. Uh, it's £24.99, and apparently Mark Wahlberg gets his giant cock out, from what I understand. Yeah. Uh, Taxi Hunter. Taxi! <laughs> I think this is a revenge on a taxi driver or something. Yeah, looks weird. Uh, next to it, we have Muck Vicar. Isn't that a biscuit? Oh no, that's a McVitie's, isn't it? £19.99, yes. Go to church and look for Mc, McVicker. Shut it, Paul. <laughs> we have the Thomas Crown Affair. I do like the slipcover and the artwork. £16.99. Good price. I'm not sure about the film, though. Uh, yeah, it didn't have a big impact on me. Uh, and this one, oh, there's weird shit on there. The Untold Story. Yeah, we've all got one of them, haven't we? £24.99. I really don't know about that, so I'll just leave it there. Down here we have the Team Wolf uh, double pack. Yeah, two individual Blu-rays inside uh, for £24.99. Unfortunately, there's a space next to it where the first film was, so in the last two days it sold. Uh, but here we have Hannah and her sisters. She's squeezed in on the shelf there. £12.99. Very nice. Okay, so they had quite a lot in there. 
Uh, the only thing I think was missing was Teen Wolf, the first one. They had the double pack, but the space where the first film went was, was actually missing. I don't know if I wanted to pay 22 quid to have the second film, when I probably won't watch it. Uh, and the only other thing they didn't have was Time Bound, it's on 4K, but they had pretty much everything else. Um, I didn't really pick anything up, there wasn't anything that shouted at me. Uh, I looked at the 4Ks, like the 2 for 30s, but pff, I've probably got most of them, <laughs> unfortunately. But anyway, let's head to our next stop, CEX. Okay, so next stop, CEX. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything, and see if I can spend that £11 voucher. Okay, so here's the impressive 4K collection. Um, yes, that's it. That's all the 4Ks you're getting, folks. Yeah, I know. Uh, they do have Dungeons and Dragons for 12 quid, though, and they also have Renfield for 12 quid. That's probably the best stuff in here. Okay, that CEX is really ridiculous. There's hardly anything in there. It's just crap. It's the worst amount of physical media I've ever seen in the CX. So that's why I don't spend so much time in there because there's, there's really nothing there. But having said that, I just said a few Blu-rays in the window at British Heart Foundation. So uh, let's go in and have a look and see what they've got. Yes, okay, so the window here. I think this is a lot of the stuff that was on the shelf last time we came over. I've got Aquaman, £4.50. Looper for four pound, Avengers Endgame five quid. Uh, Resident Evil Afterlife four pound. Yeah, none of your ten for a pound or one pound fifty. These are all four pound, five pound each. Let's go in and have a look. See if they've got anything else. Okay, so let's have a look at what overpriced shit they've got on the shelf. Then we've got Battleship. We've got Solo there. Some X Men, Conan. Uh, Lincoln, uh, Hunger Games, a lot of the same ones that I've seen before, but they do have some new titles. Um, I am going to have to zoom in though, because there was a bloke standing in front of me, but uh, Bridesmaid's still there. Uh, I did notice this, Wyatt Earp on HD DVD. You don't see that very often. They still wanted three quid for it. I mean, who's got a bloody player? And um, plus, also got, I still know what you did last summer for four quid. Yeah, you can get that a lot cheaper than that, I think. Just some of the stuff that they have in there is ridiculous and the pricing they have ridiculous like 20 year old films for like five pounds yeah anyway let's go and find another charity shop one that doesn't charge an arm and a leg to buy a blu-ray okay so somebody's obviously singing in the rain Okay, so we haven't been down here for a while, so let's pop into Oxfam and see if they've had anything new in. Okay, so in here we've got lots of DVDs, all standard stuff. There's very few Blu-rays. Uh, we do have RIPD uh, 3D. We also have... Yeah, I know, it's a dilemma, isn't it? It really is. Uh, here we have Jupiter Ascending. I actually like that film. Uh, Calamity Jane. Star Trek there. Uh, what's this? We have the producers. Uh, not a lot of Blu-rays, but they do have a few. But yeah, not a big selection. Okay, so Oxfam had a few Blu-rays, but common stuff. But we're here at our last charity shop here in Canterbury, Children's Trust. Let's go have a look. Well, for some reason, they've got one lone BBC videotape. Not even a bloody case. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? We've got uh, Hancock here with a slip cover. Um, some DVDs, more DVDs, uh, boring DVDs, DVDs I, I really don't give a shit about. Yeah. Uh, oh, Christ, Michael McIntyre. That's even worse. Uh, one or two Blu-rays, that's about it. But the rest is just same old, same old shit. Up here on the children's section, uh, we do have all the kids' DVDs, plus some Blu-rays. We've got Toy Story. I think that was £1.50. Yeah. Okay, so out of the town. Didn't have much luck in the charity shops, unfortunately. There's a lot of same old, same old stuff that a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, catalogue stuff and just, just rubbish. Yeah. Uh, DVDs. DVDs galore, but wasn't going to have, you know, wasn't going to pick anything up. 
So uh, yeah, let's get out of the town. Let's go to our next stop, as do. Ooh, it's been a while since we've had a Kermit's Ghost coffee shop. Yeah. Oh, lovely. All oh, those Arabica beans, eh, Alan? Oh, lovely. Right, okay, so we are out of the town. We are down here. Let me tilt the camera and you can see it right down there. Ba, 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 ba. It's as though below all the clouds. Yes. Now then. Now then, now then. <laughs> um, charity shops in Canterbury are not good. Uh, they're not re They're really not good. Really not good. Uh, the Blu-rays that they do have are pretty lame, uh, average, mediocre, and just regular stuff that everybody's already got in their collections. At least some of those charity shops that I went to down the bottom end of Canterbury were well, like a pound or one pound fifty, not four pound fifty or five pound for a sodding Blu-ray. British Art Foundation, you can piss right off. Yes. Don't want to any of your expensive shit. Um, but they didn't really have anything extra. They did have, was it a Wyatt Earp? Uh, I think it was Wyatt Earp on HD DVD. And they wanted three quid for that. I mean, who's going to buy that? I don't even know if anybody's still got any players. Yeah. Uh, and CEX. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother going into the CEX over here. It is atrocious. I would say... Probably they have about a hundred Blu-rays. That's about it. It takes literally five minutes to go around one shelving unit. That's it. I've never known a CEX to have so little in on their Blu-rays. I don't understand it. Being in Canterbury, a city as well. At least in Maidstone, we have crap tons. So uh, hopefully next week, uh, next week we'll be back to Maidstone because it's a big week next week. With Fast 10 and, and, and Sisu and um, Jaws and all the other stuff that's coming out. Shawshank. So there's a lot coming out next week. Uh, but the last couple of weeks, it's been really it's slim pickings. Yeah. Um, a good old country singer and, and guitarist. Yeah, slim pickings. <laughs> yeah, it's not been good for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and again, we're down here at Asda and I haven't got anything. I have not bought a single thing again today. So... Um, I mean, there are releases, of course. You know, there are releases last week and this week. It's just nothing that I'm interested in. Oh, dear. So, I don't know. We'll go in there and as to... It's Wednesday, so everything's already out on the shelf. We'll go in and have a look and see what they've got. Maybe they've got some really crap shark movie for three quid. Who knows? <laughs> Anyway, let's get in there and have a look. Oh, yeah, um, the bloke in HMV. I was talking to the chap in HMV that I normally talk to about uh, Indiana Jones because uh, there's no date for it yet. It's come on to streaming now. Um, I think it's saying like 15. I'm not paying £15 for something I'm never going to own. Yeah, uh, so I'll wait for it to come out on physical. Yeah, he reckons the physical release will be about November. Um, of course, the only problem is... You know the steelbook's not going to match, for sure. Yeah. <sighs> oh, dear me. Anyway, let's get into As Do. And let's go and have a look, see what shit they've got. media all of the games what the fuck here was all the games and all the physical media <sighs> okay so just come out of asda i almost had a sean connery flipping out 
As soon as I was walking past those aisles, I looked to see the physical media and all I saw was a little bit of white shelving. My heart was going and I walked around there. I'm telling you now, I felt really depressed just looking at those empty shelves. <sighs> Everything is gone. So uh, I just had to grab a member of staff. No, not like that. <laughs> I just had to grab a member of staff. I said, have you got rid of all your movies, all your Blu-rays and DVDs? He says, only for today. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, and apparently they're having a major jig around. They're shrinking it, shrinking it, but they're still going to have physical media. They're still going to have Blu-rays, DVDs and games, but not as many. So I don't know how many they're going to have because uh, that was... That was always one of the best Asda's that I went to. Oh dear me. My eye is still going now. I can't believe it. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Right, okay, so at least there's going to be something. So the next time we come down here, we'll see exactly how big the, uh, the selection is. Yeah, I bet they're going to get rid of all like the crappy DVDs, you know, like all the old three pound shark movies and, and apocalyptic stuff like that. I hope not, because this is the best place to find that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll see on the next on the next time down. OK, so that was that was a bit of an anticlimax. Um, OK, so uh, I do have to make a stop back in Dover. I have to send off a movie. Uh, as you know, I picked up or had delivered I'm sweating because of all the physical media that's gone. Yeah, that really got me worried. Um, worried? I think if we walk into HMV and it looks like that, that's when we should worry. <laughs> yes, oh God, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, I'm going to Dover, uh, back to Dover. Need to go to the post office. Uh, I really, really, I, re oh, I can't talk. I'm lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, I had a delivery of Evil Dead Rice Steelbook and some maggots, as you saw in the unboxing a couple of days ago. Um, so I decided to sell my 4K Evil Dead Rice. So uh, I need to ship that off to someone. But while we're in Dover, and I still got that £11 CEX voucher, let's go and have a look in CEX Dover because they've got way more movies than Canterbury has. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. Right, okay, next stop then. Dover. Okay, so back in Dover. Let's go and get rid of the packet at the post office and uh, pop to CEX for our last stop of the day. Um, and then we go home. Okay, so last stop today is CEX. So uh, let's go in and have a look, see what else they've got in. Holy shit, what? 1695 from MacBook Pro. Whoa. Okay, let's have a look at some steel books. We've got a Band of Brothers there. We've got some uh, Ghost in the Shell, yes. Uh, it's an Indiana Jones. We've got some Doctor Who's. I think they're about 40, 45 pounds. Good condition though. They don't have the really big expensive ones though. Uh, plus we have Heat there as well. Uh, Elvira or Elvira. What else have we got here? We've got some uh, Quantum of Solace there. We have a couple of different 2001s in uh, different packaging. Uh, some Alien there, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, we also have lots of Annabelles and Conjurings with slip covers. I wish I bloody waited now because I bought mine at various different places. I've got some a uh, Agent Carters there. Yeah, it seems like someone's got rid of all of their Conjuring universe in this shop. Bollocks. Uh, what else we've got here? Uh, we have Army of One with Nick Cage for two quid. Uh, it does look a bit weird. Uh, Argo there, uh, Armageddon. Um, what else have we got? Uh, some Boardwalk Empire, great show. Birdman there as well, a couple of Arrow titles. Arrow, ah, ah, what are you doing in the CX? <laughs> uh, there are, there's the Conjurings, all with slip covers. Uh, I do have them with slip covers, so that's not too bad. Uh, Casino Royale there, we've got some uh, Constantines, yeah. Uh, we've got a Bruce Lee box set there as well, and also Barbarella for, was that eight pounds, I think? What have we got here? Um, bad Moms. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one. Up here, let's have a look, see what we've got up here. Uh, up here we've got 
uh, Ed Wood with... I don't know why I said it like that. Ed Wood with Johnny Depp. And he equalises as well. I'm going to see the third film tomorrow. Can't wait for it. Frozen, yeah. Uh, some Eureka titles up here. Fast and Furious. Uh, we've got all these Flight of the Navigators. Oh, there's shit, shit loads there. All four quid now. And a lot of Green Lanterns. So if you want your green cases, definitely pick those up. His Dark Materials there. We've got uh, the house that blood red. Red blood. The house that dripped blood. The house that spewed blood. I can't remember what it's called. It's three copies of that bastard anyway. Yeah, I've got Gravity as well. Uh, Goodfellas. Um... I've got some Harry Potters down here and some steel books as well. Those double uh, jumbo ones. Up here we've got Life and Land of the Lost Loaded. Never heard of that. Vinnie Jones. Uh, loving. Oh, everybody needs a little bit of loving. Yeah, uh, The Lone Ranger, which I still think is very underrated. I enjoyed that film. Uh, Limitless there. Uh, down here we got, oh, we've got No Escape there and Moonlight. Um, Mimic, yeah, that's a really good film. I haven't seen that for a long time. I do own it, though, so it might be one that I'll, I'll probably watch in a couple of weeks. I'm going to watch a, a lot of 90s stuff and disasters and monster ones from the 90s. Up here, we've got some Starship Troopers. We've got Smallville uh, for £6. There's not many Smallville's uh, seasons on Blu-ray. I wish they would release the entire lot in one big box set, like they did with the X-Files. Yeah. Um, what have we got up here? Sherlock, a couple of Sherlocks. Uh, the Shield, the complete series up there on Blu-ray. Uh, I think that was about 40, 45 pounds. Some Taken as well and some Toy Story. Uh, some Clone Wars. Every time I go into a CEX, people seem to be getting rid of a lot of Clone Wars. I suppose because it's on Disney Plus now. But it means you don't own it, people. Okay, so yes, out of the post office and out of CEX. Uh, CEX have got a good a good selection. Uh, but they've got a lot of triples and quadruple copies of various things. Plus also they have about, I don't know, about 10 copies of Flight of the Navigator. Which has actually dropped because they had about 20. <laughs> yes, a couple of Doctor Who steelbooks. Uh, I went through the whole lot. Uh, wasn't really anything I wanted to spend me £11 on, so unfortunately again this week, nothing at all. Yeah, so uh, any deliveries that I've had, I've already had this week. Uh, so uh, again, another low-key week, uh, just like last week. Uh, but next week is, is looking up, September's looking up. Uh, definitely going to be some things next week. Yeah, so there we go. So that is today's little Blu-ray hunt. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.